Hello and welcome to the NBS show, episode number 469. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up is My Little Pony, a new generation movie song reveal in an unreleased Easy Toy. Thanks to a fan that managed to get their hands on a talking plushie of Easy that has yet to be released, we have our first taste of a song that I assume is from the new movie, apparently. Uh, it is titled Fit Right In. And if I'm hearing it right, it has a lot more of enthusiasm for unicorns and might tie into the scene we saw earlier where the other in cast appeared to be wearing unicorn horn at Easy's place. So yeah, I I checked it out a bit and it's um it's it's a pony song and out of context it's really strange. So um let's see. <laughs> this goes for this goes back to the whole thing of what happened? Why are they separated? Why are they all over the place? Because uh, if you remember way back when, when pictures came out and whatnot, uh, we see that what um, the what Easy here had a tennis ball put on her horn and they were Pegasi guards. So what happened? Like what happened after Twilight's reign? Like what, what, <laughs> what made them all split up? So this is one of those questions that can only be revealed in a few more months when the movie comes out. And I am really excited for this. This is one of those things where I feel like we are going to get a lot of stuff revealed. <clears throat> so uh, let's move on to the next one. And the next one is it's Ponytail Day! New G5 marketing from Hasbro. Uh, so there's no point in me reading into this because this is one of those things that marketing companies do to well promote stuff and whatnot and in, in all honesty this is one of those ridiculous quote unquote days that are made yeah um if you want to see the video go ahead man like i ain't stopping you but it's it's full of marketing hoopla so I'm just gonna let it linger for a bit. Okay, let's move on. So anyway, next up is My Little Pony. A new generation gets a PG rating. According to the film, <laughs> film rating website, My Little Pony, a new generation will be rocking a PG rating similar to the 2017 G4 My Little Pony movie, my guess is we won't see quite as much violence and uh, enslavement as the uh, sorry as that one based on various Hasbro works response over the years, but it still kicks up a notch from the old school G rated movies from way back when. Expect cartoon action in the usual stuff you expect to see out of a movie like this. We are just a few months away. So, ah, a PG rating. Um, I'm not from the Americas, so my knowledge of the PG rate or, or the ratings board is a bit iffy. Um, G is general, if I remember, uh, good for all ages. Uh, PG-13 is parental guidance 13 and up and PG is parental guidance. I mean, I could go to, you know what, I'm going to try that. I am going to try that right now. I am going to... Movies rating system. Okay, here we go. Uh, click on the clickety-clicks. And... 
Yes, website, come on. Why are you so slow? I actually... <coughs> okay, so this is a lot of white, so I'm going to turn it down a bit. Alrighty then. So, okay. Um, the movie film ratings is... So, uh, G is for general audience. PG is for parental guidance uh, or parental guidance suggested uh, parental strong uh, parent parents strongly cautious uh, R is restricted NC17 is uh, cl clearly adult huh wait NC17 is clearly adult what about rated uh, R18 does that not exist anymore <laughs> but anyway um with this we can gauge how quote unquote hardcore the movie is going to be uh, and I believe there's um, drop downs so okay this program so, sorry um, for general audience this program is designed to be appropriate for all ages this rating indicates a film contains nothing that uh, that would offend parents for viewing by uh, parents for viewing by children uh, I don't believe that if parents want to be offended they will be offended <sighs> okay so PG parental guidance suggested <clears throat> parents are urged to give parental guidance this film may contain some material parents might not like for their young children and this again <laughs> the whole team of um, parental guidance is suggested, uh, being offended and whatnot. It's one of those things where if someone is going to be offended, they will be offended. And some parents are lazy in doing their parental job. If you feel that way, I'm sorry. But if you don't, then let's carry on. So, yeah, um, PG. So, if you feel like this show might not be suited or oh here's here's what i remember my grandma did uh, my grandparents did with my mom uh they went to the movie first to check it out uh, i think it was snow white <laughs> uh they, they watched the whole movie and says no you cannot watch snow white and later on when my mother was an adult and had me and whatnot uh, she watched snow white and wonder what was the big hoopla and the big hoopla was oh snow white kissed a man ah! oh, the horror think of the children oh. <laughs> so yeah uh times change i guess uh, pg-13 parent parent strongly <coughs> cautious okay some material may not be suited for children under age 13 may contain violence nudity sensuality, language, adult activities, or other elements beyond a PG rating, but doesn't reach the restricted R category. Um, but I, I think this one could be uh, one of those things where uh, the movie contains a bit of animated violence. Um, nudity is one of those things where I'm just guessing for comedic value or for well, quote unquote, sensual, it, it depends on the context. Uh, other activities could be uh, drinking, smoking, and so on, but those things are not prevalent, especially smoking. I think so, I'm 100% sure. And uh, whatever is beyond. Okay, so let's carry on. Restricted R. This rating is for films specifically designed to be viewed by adults and therefore must be unsuitable for children under 17 unless you're a dumbass parents who brought their kid to watch Deadpool because Deadpool is a car comic book character right so kids can watch comic book right ha <laughs> ha boy uh, NC17 clearly adult so this is the part where I'm a bit miff okay this rating is applied to films with sorry uh, films the MPAA beliefs most parents will consider inappropriate for children 17 and under. It indicates only that adult content is more intense than 
in an R-rated movie. So this could go beyond your mm, okay i have a few ideas pornography is one of them but i'm not 100 sure if pornography is rated under this it could be their own category i'm not 100 sure but let's just say uh things that are kick up to 11 that kids under 17 may find it inappropriate i'm, I'm guessing this is one your a film class thing way up there when you go to college and whatnot so yeah let, let's wrap it up there yeah <coughs> so overall pg rating for my little pony new generation i'm guessing we're just gonna get some mild animated violence and stuff and action scenes yes that's about it i do wonder what's the bad guy for this one like we, we don't see a villain yet it feels like we did but i'm not understand sure anyway let's move on to the next one so twilight sparkle beanie baby plush appears in the in new black widow movie during a scene set in 1995. this is gonna be fun <clears throat> the newest marvel movie black widow released today uh today as in july 9th okay and as with most major superhero uh, superhero release, people are flocking to watch it. One thing that has started to make waves on Twitter is a scene set in 1995 that apparently has a Twilight Sparkle beanie plush pictured above. I'm sure everyone here is aware that Twilight in that form looks much different way back in the 90s we can't post screen caps here due to the all-seeing eye of disney and its freaking legal uh, armada but expect it to find why if you decide to give the movie a shot on disney plus or the theaters hopefully this mildly interesting news has brightened up your day okay so Beanie plush. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's just say this. Um, I'm going to take it from the top. I have not watched this movie yet. I am very interested in watching this movie. It's been a while since this movie was finished. And finished. So, yeah, like what? Last year, they said they wanted to show it and whatnot. So, I was really excited to go watch it. But pandemic stopped that from happening. And then, uh, let's see, now all I can do is just wait. I'm, I'm, uh, Malaysia recently got Disney Plus, so that's good. But sometimes some shows are not shown on Disney Plus and whatnot. Like uh, the Owl House, that's from what, what the, the new Disney thing, hit show, whatever it is, uh, season 2 is out but it's not on Disney Plus Malaysia. So I'm guessing Black Widow is also not in Disney Plus Malaysia too. Hmm. Okay, so anyway, um, back to the story. Twilight Sparkle in 1995. So I'm just guessing this. The prop manager just decides to do something. Okay. Uh, this is the kid room. What do kids do? Oh, toys. Put plush. Put plush. Um, okay, this beady baby. Beady baby is the thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's just put it there. Let's put it there. Let's put this and put that, and don't really think about it. Like we just put toys there. Done. And when fans of My Little Pony or Bronies go watch the movie. We, we see the movie because we want to watch Black Widow. We are also nerds, comic book nerds, so hey, whatever. So we go watch and then suddenly, is that Twilight Sparkle? And it is, it is her. And then I'm guessing this is not a big deal for the prop manager, prop artist, whatever it is, because yeah, Bronies are just gonna know this and point it out, but overall i'm guessing the scene did not 
well, Twilight Sparkle being there did not spoil the atmosphere of the movie. Okay, that's the logical thing. The illogical one, which is fun, is that Twilight Sparkle knew that Black Widow was in trouble, so she used her time uh, teleporting magic to go back in time to warn her. But when she went there, she was a plush, so she couldn't talk. <laughs> So yeah, um, <laughs> I know it's dumb, but <laughs> this this small dumb mistake is dumb. Uh, so let's move <laughs> on to the last one. Uh, pretty cool. I, I I will um, I I will keep an eye out. <laughs> okay, last up is My Little Pony: A New Generation to be ninety minutes long. Another small piece of pony news. Concerning uh, concerning the new movie, mm -hmm. as typical for most animated film, it looks like the film will be clocking in at 90 minutes long, according to Netflix. With all of this news and new film details, a trailer has to be just upon or just around the corner. So yay, uh, one hour and half. That's about normal for an anim animated movie. Um. I, I don't expect it to be any longer. 140 is a bit too long. See, uh, we got no context here, so uh, expect to expect it to be one of those movies where it's a bit rush, where they will rush. Um, they, the setup is going to be normal, the pacing, everything, and all. But when it comes to the middle and near the end, there's going to be a rush, like. It's expected for pony movie, so expect that to happen this time around too. That's just me. I, I maybe I already am jaded by it, so <coughs> I'm not hundred percent sure about you guys. Uh, do let me know what you think because how is this going to be? Are they going to change the new uh, pony formula to something new, or is just going to be the same? Where uh, hero wants to hero wants more. Uh, hero wants more. Um, goes out carrying friend to discover more friends and discovering there's something more to what they have and by doing so they become the new element of harmony and then there's going to be a six ranger coming out and whatever like yeah I think so uh, the six pony might come near the end and that pony will be a unicorn because looking at the screenshot here, we have what? Two Pegasi, two Earth Pony, and one Unicorn. So that is not balanced. So we need to have another Unicorn to fit the bill. Or we could have an Alicorn, who knows? <coughs> so anyway, uh, that is the news for this week. So guys, um, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing for my week? So my week has been pretty okay. Um, nothing interesting. A few, a few adventures here and there, but other than that, really nothing. I mean, it's just a lot of fun. Um, we just, I just did what? Um, more tabletop magic on spell table. It is a really good platform if you want to play magic online. Uh, I played a bit of Overwatch in a long time. Um, it's. How, how do I put this? Uh, Overwatch is a very interesting game right now, but the player population seems to be dwindling. I, I am not, I am not able to get a game often, and that is normal when it comes to games that have been around for years and don't have a how do I put this? I uh, don't have a dedicated player base so yeah that's that also uh, what else Nintendo just announced a new switch OLED so I don't really think that's something up with me but if you guys wondering what I think about it <laughs> I think it's just okay if you don't if you don't have a switch Bite, I guess. I mean, 
they say there's no Switch Pro yet or they haven't announced any Switch Pro coming out but hmm, I don't know I'm still waiting honestly speaking I'm just still waiting for a Pro version to come out if they do even come out and if you can't wait to buy a Switch the OLED is a good um, it's a good uh, option to get now if you really can't wait or if you want to you can find a refurbished version of the switch online and stuff like I, if i remember right nintendo do sell refurbished units um i'm not 100 sure where but i have heard that they do so you might want to check that out yourself but anyhow let's wrap things up let's wrap things up so <clears throat> If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact me at thembshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLife.com. Links are in the show notes. Uh, let's see. Also, please subscribe and rate us on the review and discussion podcast on IT and Stitch Radio. I also have heard that we are everywhere. Thank God. Um, we are on the, if I'm not mistaken, Amazon Audible, probably? Uh, I'm not 100% sure about um, uh, what's that? Spotify. But I do know that we are on Audible, which is cool. Which is freaking cool. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, iTunes, Spotify, oh, sorry, iTunes, Audible, um, Stitch Radio. Do subscribe us to us there because it is a. <laughs> I really appreciate it if you do. <coughs> if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. <coughs> sorry, um, I forgot to mention what we do on the Review and Discussion podcast. Yes, my bad. Sorry. Uh, over there, we review Pony Comics episodes, movie specials, and sometimes we like to do other. Things than movies. We sometimes like to review uh, comic books, animes, mangas, uh, movies, video games, and so on. And if you like support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I would like to. Oh my god, that's all right. <laughs> I would like to thank Lucky Knight. Jeffrey, myself like and also Tristan. Thank you so much guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya!